Hello and welcome to Milo Marcus Garage. Today we are restoring this. Yes, this. Um, I think this is a pub of some 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 sorts. I'm not too sure. Uh, what I am sure of is that it's old. It's really, really old. Uh, I was given this by one of my customers. Thank you for that. Uh, she was uh, cleaning uh, her um, cellar and she found this and she wanted to throw it out so I um, took it with me. The house was built in 1906 if I remember. Uh, so this might be roughly a hundred years old and if you look at that little cup right here now that is a grease cup and grease cups are something that was quite common in old machines up to roughly 40s 50s so you know this might be it's it, it's it, it's at least eight years old and it might be more. So, well, I've slowly started my the, the disassembly process already because I wasn't sure if this is interesting enough for me to film for you guys. So if you look there, that is the pulley, some assorted screws and fittings that were on the pulley, and that is the rest of the pump. It's quite small, very dirty, so the first thing is disassembly. I'm going to try to find some letters, brand name, whatever, if it's possible. Then finding out, you know, what is this, you know, what this is for. I think it might be a water pump, but I'm not too sure. Again, uh, I don't know until I open it up, but uh, what I do know is that those uh, intake and outtake holes or whatever they are, they are full with grease. So if this was a water pump, why would it be full of grease? I don't know. So um, let's just call it a uh, restoration of this for now, until I find, find out uh, what this actually is. But without further ado, let's continue the disassembly process of this. Uh, this time I'm wearing gloves because, well, this is really dirty and I, um, well, I don't want dirty hands. We'll start off by... <laughs> grease cap. Should be a relatively simple thing to take off. So you can see, the way the grease cap works, for people that don't know what a grease cap is, basically this is a thingy wingy that you put grease into, you fill it up to here, then you stick it on here and you screw it in and basically by the way of screwing it in you're pushing grease inside here and you push it in, push it in, push it in until you, you know, you've screwed it fully in, then you screw it up, fill it with more grease and then the process runs its circle. So this grease cup is pretty much empty, a little bit of grease in there, if I can have a sniff. Oh, that smells like old grease. That's nothing. That's not lithium. That's petroleum grease. Yep, old stuff. Uh, and obviously I will try to clean every single part of this lovely machine, if I can manage. And then, little screw. Oh, the screws are nice and smooth. That's good. Uh, what I've so far noticed is this whole part here is made of brass. Uh, this, um, I think it's brass as well. Actually, I don't feel... This is a magnetized screwdriver, by the way. And I don't feel like it's being stuck. So the whole thing actually might be made of brass. Which, again, implies a water pump, because brass does not rust. So, nice little tray. The, the whole thing might be made of brass, even the screws are non magnetic, so uh, I'm pretty sure that everything here is brass, which is, you know, a 
extremely cool and if it is brass then I might not be you know might not have to paint it because you know just the color of brass is just lovely if you clean it up that cool brass look that steampunky feel it's just good it's just 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 fun I, I'm not too sure if I'll be ever using this machine but uh, if I never use it then I shit it's quite heavy. Uh, then I will probably sell it. Oh, this one's a bit stuck. Still fine. So um, I will bring you back once I disassemble this thing. Now it's time to reveal what is hiding inside of here. Ooh, I see gears. Oh, that's cool. And heavy. Holy shit, that's surprisingly heavy. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. That's neat. I hope you can see this. Yes, you can. Two giant gears. Just... Turny, turny. Really cool. Really cool gears. I like that. Let's see if I can take this out. I see there's a remains of a gasket in here but this is just standard stuff so I'm not going to bother saving this gasket I mean I can just you know I could probably just use liquid gasket or just make a new one wow that's giant that is a beast as you can see this is probably grease hole or something uh, but surprisingly good condition considering it's you know X many years old you can see some chipping on the gears here and there like right here there's a little chip right here there's a little chip and uh, here are some two big chips in the gears but uh, that shouldn't be a problem now just you know I'd love to know what this is and I still have no clue but um, let's put that away still cool as hell so uh, let's see if this gear here can be removed and the answer is yes it can and up we go another giant giant gear again a little bit of cheap hit chipping here and there uh -huh. but it's cool it's so freaking cool are these steel though Nope, that's brass as well. Actually, the whole thing is brass. Would you look at that? The whole thing. Absolutely amazing. So how does this work? How do you work? Tell me. What is your way of working? How would you pump water? Would it just be gears that just turn and then fed this into here? Perhaps? hard to tell. You can see a broken bolt in here. We'll try to get that off. Not sure if we'll be able to, but holy hell this is cool. I have never worked on a machine this old. And uh, I've worked on a lot of machines. So uh, let's try to just take this gasket off. If I can. It's going to be particularly gentle with it because I'm just going to make a new one. This goes to trash. Unless I want to uh, just paint it off from here. Still, super cool. Super cool stuff. I mean just old machines in general, they are extremely cool. And would you look at that, my battery is dying. Do I brought a spare with me. Alright, I will start cleaning this up. Uh, taking that bolt out and then I will uh, get back with you guys. See you there! Hmm. My hands are greasy, how am I going to do this? I'm gonna use my nose. <laughs> this is the next day and as you can see the first round of painting is complete.